In this video, we will look at the file format that is used to store the raw sequencing data. It's a text-based format, so it's human-readable and it follows a certain structure. To start, I have imported the FASTQ file into Galaxy, and to look at the data, we just have to click on the eye icon. This will open the first megabyte of the file in the central window. To have a quick look, you can use Galaxy, but if you want to manipulate or do manual searches in the file, it is best to download the file and use other software to process it. The FASTQ file consists of a number of records of four lines each. As an example, we will look at the first four lines of the file that is displayed here. The first line is the identifier. It contains a lot of information such as the instrument ID, location and so on. One value that might be particularly interesting is the read number, which tells you if the read is a forward or reverse read. The forward reads have number one, the reverse reads have number two. So if you see a file where all the reads are forward reads, so you always see a one, then you know that you either have a single end experiment or that you only have one of the two files of a parent end experiment. If you would see alternating forward and reverse reads, so one, two, one, two, all the time, then you have an interleaved data file for a paired end experiment. In the second line, we find the raw sequence. This is a sequence that was called by the sequencer, regardless of the quality of the read. The third line is a plus character, optionally followed by the identifier again. In many cases, it will just be the plus, but sometimes you can have the identifier repeated. The last line holds the quality scores of the base calls. The quality of each base is located directly below that base. This quality is based on a FRET score, and a FRET score is calculated by this formula. So it's minus 10 times the logarithm of the chance of an incorrect base call. This means that a FRET score of 30 means that there is a 1 in a thousand chance of the base call being incorrect. A FRET score of 20 means that there is a 1 in a hundred chance, and a FRET score of 10 means that there is a 1 in 10 chance of a base call being incorrect. As we are using a text file to store the information and we want the quality score directly below the base, it is impossible to do this by entering the numeric score. It would be impossible to know that the number 25 as the first characters of the line would be a score of 25 for the first base, or maybe a score of 2 for the first one and 5 for the second one. To solve this problem, a conversion system was created that maps the numerical score to standard characters. In this table you can see how each FRET score is converted to a character. The original system was a Sanger encoding, but Illumina decided to use a different encoding up to version 1.8 of their software when they also adapted the original Sanger encoding, but they added another value, the value of 41. So if you see a capital J in a recent file, you know that it's probably Illumina encoding version 1.8 or above. It is also this way that several software packages try to detect which encoding is used for the quality scores. So a file with a capital S in the quality score can for instance never be a Sanger encoding or an Illumina 1.8 plus encoding. In most cases you will never look at this file directly, but if you want some more information or are troubleshooting something in your experiment, you can always have a look at the raw data by either looking in Galaxy or downloading the file and opening it in another editor.